guys, welcome back to my channel. So, did you guys just like see my armpit? Okay, whatever. I look like crap right now because I don't have any makeup on as I'm going to start my workout soon. And this brings us to the title of the day which is, I'm showing you guys my night routine, quarantine version, duh. And before I start, you already know the drill. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and turn on your notification bell if you want to get notified when I post my next video. And I usually post on Sunday at 6pm sharp. And yeah, let's begin. So the first thing that I'll do is my workout and it's already 6 p.m. and I usually do my workout around this time and the duration for my workout is like around 30 minutes or less because I just want to do it quick and e and like the easy ones and I want to keep it you know short because I'm really lazy and yeah I do it like almost daily I try to and yeah let's begin Okay guys, so I'm just done with my workout and right now I'm gonna take a shower. It's almost 6.30 and after I take my shower, I will show you guys my skincare routine, like the night skincare routine. So yeah. Okay guys, so I'm in the toilet right now and I'm just done showering and I'm gonna show you my skincare routine. But before that, I'm gonna tell you like, uh, I've changed my camera to my phone so the quality might not be so good like the sound and you know, things and all because the lighting like in a toilet is not that good if I use my camera. So let's get right into it. First, I'll use this like I showed you guys last time if you watched my previous skincare routine video. I use this. That's the first thing I'll use. So I put a little bit on my hand, my finger like this. And I just rub it on my face and a with a little bit of water. And I just like rub it like this. Like this can get rid like the oil excess of your face, the excess oil from your face. And then you wash it off. And then the second thing I'll use is this one. So this one is the gentle skin cleanser. I'll actually use like two cleanser. One is to wash off my excess oil from my face and the other one is just to you know cleanse it again one more time because if I have makeup on, I'll do like this two duo combo it together. But if I don't have like makeup on, I'll use it too because this will really like soften your skin. Like this one is the gentle skin cleanser from Cetaphil and this really 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 will like soften your skin. Like just feel it, just feel it. Like just wash it on, don't forget your neck. And then wash it off again. Okay, so the third thing I will use is I will use this, you know, the green tea scrub from Sand Ivy's. Is that how you read it? Uh, whatever. So I'll just use this and I'll just put it on like some of the place where I really feel like there are a lot of pores. I mean like big pores. And I just want to get rid like stuff like that. And also black hat. So I'll just like put some, not too much because um, I don't want my skin to get really like dry. And I don't want to like peel off my skin from it. So I'll just like put a little bit on it. And then after you're done scrubbing, just like wash it off. So this green tea scrub, uh, it's for like to clear your blackheads and also to unclog your pores. And they actually recommend you to use only three to four times a week, not like daily. Or else you like strip your face, I guess, if you use it daily. So do not use it daily. Okay, so now let's get into this. This volcano. Vol super volcanic pore clay mask. This one also you should use around like three to four times a week, not too much, I guess. Yeah, I think so. So I only use like three times or four times a week. Same with the scrub. Okay, so after you dry your face, remember that dry your face. And this one you have to keep it on for 15 minutes. Uh, so after it's like dry, like you can feel it like when it's dry, then only you wash it off and I usually put it on my t-zone only like I said I don't have like pores like big pores like uh, at the other part of my face so I just you know usually just put it here my nose my t-zone and like uh, like under my lips the chin part so now I'm done applying the pore clay mask and I actually recommend you to put this mask on like right away like after shower because like when you shower with hot water, if you didn't shower with hot water, don't lie. 
but if you know you like shower it with hot water and then it will like open the heat will like open your pores so it's the best time to actually put this mask on because your pores are open and it's best that they suck it out with this clay mask so I definitely recommend you to do this like after your shower or you know if you don't shower with hot water you might as well just use like a hot towel like you know heat up your towel and just place it on your face and wait for like a few minutes until your pores are really opened up then try to put this clay onto your face so yeah that's what I usually do but now I'm just gonna show you guys in step because I usually like you know do all the cleansing part while I'm taking a shower so now I'm just gonna wait for 15 minutes baby why are you so adorable come here come here Okay, so 15 minutes up people and it's dry Like dried up, can you see? Okay, whatever So I'm just gonna wash it off with this towel It's for like face To like cleanse my face So I think one of my aunties gave it to me So I'm using this to like wipe off uh, the, you know, the clay Because if you wanna like waste your time Using the water to cleanse it without like anything You're gonna take some time so usually I just use this towel and it's like it cleans up very very fast, very quick. So yeah, I usually just do this. Okay, as you can see, it's not clean enough. So I'll just use this cleanser, the gentle one, to you know clean the excess clay off my face. Okay, now wash it off again. Okay, so now I'm done and I just use like a towel to like pat my face gently. Don't like, you know, because you get wrinkles from it, duh. So after you know all the cleansing, scrubbing, getting like stuff shit out of my pores, I'm now gonna use this moisturizer from Clinique. So this one I think costs around like 170. So yeah, I'm just gonna use this. And if like your eyes are very puffy, you can use like the eye cream. Uh, the one I recommend is from the origins, but if you just put it if your eyes like under eyes are puffy or you know stuff like that But now it's not puffy So I'll just use moisturizer only to get right into it because after you wash your face and all the scrubbing and stuff Your face will definitely feel very dry. So You definitely have to put moisturizer on depends on your favorite moisturizer Okay, okay, so now I'm done applying the moisturizer Okay, so now I'm done applying the moisturizer. If you can see, it's like glowy and very dewy and that's how I like it. It's not... This moisturizer is not too thick. It's like ngam ngam hao. You know why it's ngam ngam hao? Like just enough. Not too thick and not too thin. So I really like it. Okay, so now before I dry my hair, I don't really have the habit of drying my hair immediately. And I know it's bad because you will get like... um, What do you call it? Ah? Like in Chinese, it's called zing fung. And in English, it's like... I don't know what it's called but it's bad. I know it's bad. So I don't really have the habit. So that's me. I really don't care. And I know some people will get migraine from it. But whatever. I'm gonna go get my dinner right now. Okay guys, so I'm done with dinner. I'm sorry if I didn't show you like any clips of me having dinner with my family because they were like, don't video me. I'm so ugly and stuff like that. So yeah. Anyway, if you want to know like what I ate, I had like small portions of every dish Some rice, fish, kimchi and you know chicken And I also had like ABC soup, if you're Asian you know what's ABC soup because It's like one of the famous soup in Asia And yeah, I also dried my hair as you can see if you haven't realized or you know what And before I dry my hair, I'll spray like this argan, pure argan oil hair care which my mom bought me I spray it on my hair first then only I dry it and now it's like a little bit fuzzy so I'm gonna tie it up and I know crunchies are very famous right now very trendy everyone's like using crunchies but I don't have one and I don't really like using crunchies especially at home or rubber bands because it will like tighten your face your scalp your head and you know you have hair loss so I don't really like that and what does a typical Asian usually use dun 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 this. If you don't know what is this, I don't know if you're Asian. And if you're not Asian, yeah, confirm you don't know what is this. So I don't blame you. But this, this is what I use at home. 
and not outside lah because it's ugly I know but I think I stole this from my mom I steal a lot of stuff from her like especially like her you know this and like some makeup or skincare product I'm a nice daughter so yeah um, how do you use this is you just like grab your hair like how you tie your hair kind of twist it twist it and turn it and then you clip it clip this at the side Ta-da! It's done. It's very loose and I really like it because it's comfortable and it doesn't cause hair fall. So yeah, I really like this clip. I think if you know, you know, okay? And I know it's not fashionable but I'm at home so nobody cares. And now I'm gonna show you what I usually do on my free time especially after dinner. Okay guys, so this is me refilling my humidifier while drinking some water also. So I really love my humidifier. I usually put a few drops of my essential oil, peppermint flavor from doTERRA. And then I will also put some, apply some on my neck because it will relax my whole body and make me focus while I'm doing my work. Ta-da! Now I can focus on my work and I think everyone should get a humidifier for themselves. Really can make you breathe better and also feel very relaxed at home. And now I'm studying and prepping for my exam next week, my aviation exam, which is um, I need to renew my license as a cabin crew. And actually, we need to renew it each year, like every year. So yeah, next week is my turn. I just love writing notes down to really um, make me remember stuff and so I can look back and know what's important and what I really need to focus on. Especially with like a lot of different colors of pen, it will make it look very interesting and fun. And when I'm done with all my work stuff and studying, I will like to you know lay in my bed, chill, uh, play my phone or you know watch some YouTube or Netflix. So currently, I really love this Netflix show, The Hundred. It has seven seasons, but I don't know why Netflix only have five. So, mm -hmm. and I also love uh to watch YouTube. And some of my favorite YouTubers are Bradman Rock, Ace Family, Stephanie Su, uh, some Malaysian YouTubers. And the best part is I always have my chilling partner, my doggo, my moko. I really love him so much and he really loves cuddling. Six and a half hours late. Okay guys, so I'm gonna sleep right now. I barely can open my eyes. I've been procrastinating on my phone for too long and I'm super sleepy and yeah, I can't keep this up anymore and I don't have any other routine. If, it's, if this video bores you, I'm sorry. But anyway, please remember to subscribe, give a thumbs up and turn on the notification bell. Oh my god, I'm gonna sleep. Okay, so yeah. Take care, be safe, God bless, and good night. Peace.